Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jeff West, and this is Your Biotics Underneath the Microscope at 40X. And you will see at the top right, uh, the, the middle is like the center of the universe in the microbial world. It's a plant cell, and you can see it glowing, and around it are, as you can see, many, 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 many life forms. And you can see them kind of wiggling and moving around. They're also glowing in gold, which means they're full of energy. There is cell division going on, all right? There is communication with the cell. They're all working together to get the cell to go under mitosis, to duplicate, to replicate itself, to grow, to expand. This is how the urobiotics helps the body on the inside. It helps cells uh, get nursed back to health and divide into new cells. So you see all this glowing going on with a little bit of movement. So all of these microbes work together. They are the archaea and the probiotics. They're working together. They are igniting energy amongst each other and with the cell to create a universe. All right, it's that simple. This is the urobiotics under the microscope. We simply put it in some deionized water and let it go. So here it is moving around. We're, we're focusing in on some other things. And remember, this is a three-dimensional world here. And a microscope is only looking at one particular layer of that three dimension. So it's a two-dimensional look at a three-dimensional world. So you'll see some things come in and come out of view. So here we go, all kinds of microbes again. All right, and you'll see the movement that's there. And notice that they're all glowing. Now, when I show you other ones later, you won't see this because the energy is the key in this. The urobiotics microbes are full of life and full of energy. Even though they're in a powdered form, they are not freeze-dried. They are powder-dried, which is our invention. So you simply add water to this, and it springs to life. And this is just adding a pinch of the powder to water, stirring, putting it in a pipette, and putting it on the slide and looking at it under the microscope. It immediately comes to life and starts to energize because these archaea microbes are just full of energy. And they're the key to the microbial world. They bind and do work with the probiotic life to help out the multicellular organisms, such as plant cells or human cells or animal cells. And they all work together and everything needs to be there. So the key here is the energy. Okay, and you will see in the middle here as the time goes on, it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger as the cells grow. And if we were to wait long enough, you'd even see some cell division. But this is a powdered probiotic called your biotics in water. It comes to life. And these are the different layers of magnification. It's a pretty fascinating look at what's really going on. So this is the kind of activity. When these type of cells get into a body where there's all kinds of body fluids and all kinds of other cells, they will multiply even faster because they have food source and other things around them. Your biotics does have a food source. It has a sugar source in there along with amino acids to do repair and everything else. But this is still pretty dilute in water. But you can still see the type of life that is there. It's pretty amazing. In the next video, we'll go into some other microbes that we've been looking at under the microscope, other products that we carry, uh, including fermented probiotics, as well as freeze-dried probiotics that we do not carry because freeze-dried kills cells. And I will show you definitive proof of that. So I'll just let it run a little bit longer just so you can get a general idea of what happens in the microbial world. And then we'll take a closer look at what happens. Okay, now we have a fermented liquid probiotic. We simply took the pipette, grabbed some of the liquid, mixed it in with the water, took the pipette again, and mixed it. This is also at 40x magnification. You'll see on the left, so you'll see cell formations on the left, that big glob of brown. It's likely plant cells as well, and there is energy. You can see some glowing to it. 
You also don't see as much movement, and that's because the archaea are not present. The archaea are what amplify and light up the underworld. So we turned up the magnification, and here you can see some activity, some cells actually moving around, and they do glow a little bit, which means there's good energy production. Not quite as much as the orbiotics, but it's a pretty good quality compared to what you'll see next. So be prepared for what's coming up next. The freeze-dried probiotics, which are all over the marketplace, and really no evidence to back them up. So let's go over and see what they look like on the microscope and be prepared because it's not too pretty. So here is 50 billion CFU probiotic with multi-strains. Okay, you see a big bunch of globs up there. Those are all dead cells. You see a bunch of dirty looking specks everywhere else. That's dirt, clay, debris. And if you look, there's nothing glowing and there is nothing moving around except some water movement that was on the slide. All right, but the individual cells are not moving. So there really is no sign of life with 50 billion colony forming units, multiple strains, a top selling product. Look under the microscope. What are you actually getting? Okay, so here's more. We move it around. More dead cells. Dead cells. Dead cells and debris. Nothing moving. Nothing pulsing with energy, pulsing with light, pulsing with movement. It's all dead material. So the label says you're getting 50 billion CFU. There probably at one point were 50 billion CFU, but I don't see anything living at 40x magnification versus 40x magnification with your biotics. So we just continue to scroll around and it's just dead material. Now these cells that are dead, it becomes questionable as to where they come from. What do they look like to you? All right, they're brown. Did you know that probiotics are cultured from healthy colons, healthy rectums, healthy bodies? but they get them from the colon and the rectum. So most likely, I don't know for certain, but it sure does look like that's what's actually in and under the microscope. So buyer beware. Now we actually have proof as to what you are actually buying. Here we have 20 billion CFU of multi-strains. Now you'll see some movement underneath it and behind it and around it that's the water because we had a table that was on carpet so you bump it it starts to move a little bit all right but do you see anything wiggling around and swimming with purpose it's all going with the current so it's a bunch of debris and then you see these bigger things that are dead cells what's it look like to you okay it's all dead material so at one time, there probably were 20 billion colony forming units in the culture, but when it's freeze dried, they die. The cells are killed. And there's extra debris in there from the culture, which could be fecal debris. I don't know for certain, but it sure does look like it. So here's magnification in and out, and you can just see cellulose which is the dead parts of the cell that was once living. And nothing wiggling, squiggling, moving with purpose, nothing glowing like with it, your biotics. Just debris going with the current of the water on the slide. Real simple, folks. Buyer beware. You're not getting what they tell you is on the label. So there you have it, folks. Your biotics wins, hands down. And this is the reason why it's so effective with many different type of conditions.